yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day Now we on road, came from Yo, what is good, John? Welcome back to it again. Another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. And today's video is brought to you and sponsored by Wild Hammer Motorsports. You dig what I'm saying? If you guys haven't already, man, make sure you guys go tap in with the people over there at Wild Hammer, man. Use promo code J.I. Wild at checkout to save yourself some money. And, uh, yeah, man, on any of the items that are on the website or any of the items that you see on my car, if you're interested, man, go ahead, go shop, use my promo code, save yourself 10%. Um, or it might be a little bit more, I'm not 100% sure, but you'll have to go to the website and see. But as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, today we'll be installing my dive planes on my 2021 Camaro SS1 LE. It's going to be completely changing the entire front end. I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty sure this joint is going to look insane once it's all said and done. But that's as it sits right now it already looks super mean as you guys can tell we have the zl1 add-ons front license plate bracket again sourced by wild hammer motorsports man it also doubles back as a tow hook so if you're interested make sure you guys go tap in with them and you know what i'm saying get you get you get your items and whatnot but without further ado let's run to the back real quick we're gonna grab the tools that we need i'm gonna show you guys exactly what we need and then we'll get started so coming in hot man you're gonna need a seven millimeter socket and you're also gonna need a t10 torx bit you'll need a either a three eighths or a half inch uh quarter or a quarter um you know socket whatever set you have and then obviously the dive planes they actually come with everything that you need to install all the hardware uh, the double size sticky tape and the bracket so it's actually pretty simple how to install these joints you're gonna go ahead and you'll start by using the torx bit to get these three screws undone and then you'll loosen the seven millimeter bolt that connects the bumper to the fender and once you do that you'll kind of just pry on the bumper just a little bit pull it out and then the bracket literally just drops into the hole and then you tighten everything up and attach the dive plane to it so with that being said man i'm gonna go ahead and turn on vader real quick turn the wheel get these bolts undone and then i'll show you guys where we go from there all right y'all so once you get all the bolts undone you will be literally here you just pull the bumper out just a little bit you're gonna grab your bracket right and if i'm not mistaken the bracket should just literally sit right there where the stock screw goes as you guys can see and then you should be able to just push the bumper back into place make sure that that hole is lined up with where the seven millimeter bolt goes and then you'll be able to screw it down and that'll hold the bracket in place and then you have this like baby washer and screw setup which locks in the dive plane themselves. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out real quick. Sorry y'all, manual focus. But I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out real quick and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Um, you're gonna wanna go ahead and clean up the bumper because the double size sticky tape needs a clean surface to fully adhere. And then once you set that up, I'll show you guys the next step. So go ahead, tighten up your bumper and everything and then we'll move on. All right y'all, so this is what you should get as an end result after you button it up you should just be left with that little baby tab hanging out there bruh once you have it all buttoned up like that then you'll grab this little hardware right here clean up your bumper pull the little sticky sided tape coverings back and you should be able to just go ahead and tighten down that bolt for alignment and press down and it should be straight now what I'm gonna do is they do provide some 
double side sticky tape for these edges right here so I'm gonna go ahead and put them on and then I'm gonna cut down the excess and then I'll apply it so give me one second all right y'all so I got one side on as you guys can tell and oh my goodness dude that looks so mean compared to none and then some oh my god bruh that looks insane it lines up literally right underneath the light oh man sorry y'all let me get this back focused sheesh look at that bruh looks so good I was able to get it to stick on and as we heat as the heat you know what I'm saying the Sun bakes it some more will be good oh man that looks incredible now I'm gonna go ahead and do the driver side one thing that I do need to let you guys know before I forget do not fully tighten down the bracket that seven millimeter bolt still needs to be loose so that you'll be able to kind of adjust the bracket as needed um, and get it to where the dive plane will actually be able to sit flush with the car but oh my god I love how this looks y'all jeez that looks so good damn bro y'all do not understand two things thing number one how extremely freaking hot it is today it is 102 today so if you haven't already man hit that thumbs up for the kid right now just for making this vlog for y'all and literally cooking while making it you dig what i'm saying but oh my god the second thing is how good vader looks with these dive planes bro oh my god this thing looks insane bro i'm just gonna i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the car is dirty i gotta wash the car it is what it is but i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys because oh my god this thing looks insane bro bro look at oh my bro what bro yo y'all drop a comment in the comment section down below let me know what you guys think but i personally am in love and honestly it's the only opinion that matters for this build you dig what i'm saying if you guys like it you could do it to your car if you don't like it then you know i mean it's my car so you didn't you don't have to look at it every day but bro oh my god this thing looks insane, bro. It's like, literally, they're the perfect size. They're not too big. They're not too small. They don't stick out too far. They mount it up just great. The fitment is great. Oh, man, bro. I mean, we're going to put these joints to the test when we do, you know, our road test for sure. But just looking at it right now, bro, insane. Hands down. dude oh my god but yeah man that's that's gonna wrap it up for today's video you guys drop a comment in the comment section down below let me know what you guys think of the dive planes man i can't even lie bro vader looks insane with them joints bro oh, <laughs> oh my god bro i'm in love all over again if you guys could man do your boy a favor Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button, man. Turn on those post notifications if you haven't already. And uh, drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think, man. Again, shout out to Wild Hammer, man. Use J.I. Wild at checkout to save yourself some money, man. Go get yourself some dive planes for your 6.5 because my boy and my girl, I'm telling you now, them <laughs> joints are fire bro oh my god i can't wait to get rollers I, I can't wait to get rollers i'm gonna go ahead and close this video here man if you guys are new like i said hit that subscribe button for the kid man turn on those post notifications bro and uh let's go ahead and roll that outro man i'm gonna see y'all in the next one peace